Hello guys, welcome back to Creation YouTube channel. My name is Sebastian and I'm more than happy to bring to you guys the Gene Graphics version 3, uh, one of the best sellers from our store. So I will show you how to install and how to use the new CC Gene Graphics V3. There are coming callouts, 3D models, overlays and more. So let's jump into the tutorial. Once you have downloaded the pack, we need to go to the downloads and here we have our zip file so to unzip it we need to double click it and here we'll have our folder where it contains every titles so you can see intro templates titles timers and censures and the manual in case you need it so to install it is very easy you just need to drag and drop to the movies motion templates titles and then let it here so this message appears to me uh, because I have already installed the pack, but in your case will don't appear, so I'll go from stop. Before launching the Final Cut Pro, make sure that's closed, so to titles and generators to be updated. So we we'll need to go to the Final Cut Pro, and here it is. We need to go on the left part button, where it says titles and ge generators, and here we will find our CCG graphics version 3. So as you can see there are coming 9 callouts, 8 essentials, we have 6 male 3D models and 6 female 3D models, we have calories, macros, we have three, uh, 5 intro templates, we also have 13 lower thirds, we have also 16 icons, we have 3 overlays com composition, we have also 9 lower thirds, we have five timers and also we have five titles so I will go one for one I will I will don't go to each one as every title works the same have the same parameters so I will show one of each so we will go with the callout we'll choose the four we drag and drop to our timeline as you can see we have a build in and a build out go to the right part where it says titles and then we have here the build in and build out if you want to stop the animation, you just click here and here and you don't have the animation. So we also have here the position, scale and opacity of, of the box and the position of the box in case you need it. You have the colors, you have the text in case you want to change it, the font and the scale and the position for each text and element. We also have the opacity of the box, we have the fill if you want it. We also have the thickness. If you want to make the line uh, bigger or smaller and also the box and you also have the circle scale in case you need it so as it's a call out uh, we need to track right so it's very easy we need to go to the transform and then to the tracker and it's coming with this grid so to use it we make it as a circle and we go here and make it smaller like that as it's a circle our our object I will make a circle I will put this one here and to to work we need to go to analyze uh, the animation is track so every color is working the same have the same parameters maybe one have more and less because of the elements but uh, they work the same we need to to go to the transform track make the track to the object you want and then analyze and that's it all right, we go with the next one. So I will show you the essentials. Drag and drop to our timeline, and here it is. You can see we have animation in and animation out in case you need it. Uh, if you want to stop it, just uncheck the box, and then we also have implemented the once on screen control in case you want to move from your screen. But you also have here the position, scale, and opacity. You have the colors in case you want to change them. I will go for red. As you can see, the flame is red now. You have the text if you want to change the font and the size. And you also have the animation of the of the flame, as you can see. So if you want the opacity is here of the icon, the position and the scale. And you also have the animation in case you need it. All the essentials work the same in case you, you want to try them. You have eight essentials. And now we are going with the 3D model. So we have in in six versions. I will show you one, for example, I will go with this one. As you can see, now it's here, the 3D model. We have the build in and build out of the animation. As you can see, here it is. 
you have the position scale as you can also move move it from the one screen control you have the orientation like by nature of the motion and how the graphic was made uh, we don't have we have limitations so we we only have 25 degrees to move around our graphic as you, as you can see uh, once that we have more options and motion update their their interface will go for more and now and now I will show you how it works so you have the orientation opacity of the graphic you have the scale you have the position and if you want to make the the body bigger or smaller you can make it from here or from here on the setting you have the orientation you can change the text font and scale if you want and then you have also the glow amount and then also the intensity if you want to make the body with more intensity here is and if you want to check or uncheck the glow you you can uncheck the box and here we have our muscles we have front and back and now you are asking where is the back muscle as you as i can see only the front we need to go up and here where it says select view we can go for back and now the body will turn back so you also have 25 degrees if you want to change the animation and now we will select for example the trapezius and uh, maybe gluteus so here is as you can see the muscle have activated but you can uncheck or check your favorite muscles so every graphic were the same so as I said before, you can. There are some elements that work different, maybe one, two, but you have the name of each element and work the same. So now I will show you the female one. For example, we will go for this one. We select our title, and we have the color. In case you want to change the color, we'll go for blue. As you can see, the color has changed, and also the muscle. You, if you want to change the muscle here, you also have the scale. For each element if I want to move this one here as you can see it's here you can make it smaller or bigger even from the screen or even from the parameters if you want uh, the female model have the same parameters as the male so you have the opacity muscle you have the glow you have the intensity you have also the muscles if you want to select the back muscle you go to select view and then back you also have the build in and build out in case you need it. You have the orientation if you want to change. So as you can see here on the left part, there are six graphics that you can play with them. So maybe if you want only the body, you can select which one you want and uncheck everything and you will have the body. So we have icons and elements. So I'll show you right now, drag and drop to our, our timeline. You have the animation in and animation out. You have the colors, you have the position, scale and opacity for each thing. If you want to use it or move it, make it bigger or smaller, you have also the opacity of, of each section. But you also have here done the, the opacity only for the shoes, the path or the flame or the fire. So you can see I can make the opacity to zero and also the line in case I want only the line. So the calories, the, the macros titles work the same. As you can see, you have the on-screen control if you want to move them. You also have the colors if you want to change them. For example, we go for red. As you can see here, the fat, fat icon have changed. You have also the icons to check or uncheck. If I will write here, let me put like five grams. So you can see here we have five grams of carbs. I will go with the next one, so we will go into the intro templates. I will go with the first one, so drag and drop to our timeline. And then, as you can see here, we have the build in and build out, as I said before. So you also have the colors, in case you want to change them. As you can see here in the corner, have changed. Let's go with the text, maybe, and make it uh, yellow. You also have the text if you want to, to change it. You have the font, scale and position. And here we have the opacity frame. So if you don't want the frame, like these borders here, you can turn this down and you don't have it. 
Also you have on the corner right here in case you need it and you also have for the three lines here you have the opacity but you also have one thing more that is the tint opacity if you look here on the background we can see uh, this is turning on or off like the visibility of the video but you also have the blur in case you need it you make it blurred or unblur with this one you can drag it to the right or drag it to the left so the so the left four templates were the same so let's go with the next one I will show you right now we will go with the lower thirds here we have 13 lower thirds in case you want to change you can play with them just be creative <laughs> and as I said before we have the built-in built out position on screen control if you want to move you have the text in case you want to change it let's put here chest day as you can see here the text have changed you have the font and the size and the scale for each element you have also the lines if you want to make it bigger or smaller you have here the opacity so that's it it's very easy it's a small parameter so every lower third work the same as i said before so we will go now with the icons because we have 16 icons uh, for example we'll go with the third one drag and drop right to your time make it smaller so here as you can see here we have an animation i will show you the parameter so as you can see here it's a small parameter menu so you have the animation built in built out you have the position scale and opacity and you also have here but you also have the colors in case you want to change change it here is you have the thickness for the for the body and also for the muscles and you have the opacity in case you need it and also you have the speed animation so as you can see here we have the animation for the chest i mean the lines you can make it move uh, faster or slower by dragging to the left or to the right here it is and you also have the fill animation if you don't want the animation you just can you just can uncheck the box so here it is it's you can see it's not animated the chest so you choose if you want the animation or, or not so we have for we have back chest glutes we have also hamstring we have uh, we have calves biceps triceps we have and two static uh, female and male icons and now we will go with the overlay who had the chance to use the cc urban they may know that uh, we have some over some similar overlays to this one but this one are different and improved so you can see here we have on screen control for each element in case you want to move them but you also know that you have on the menu here if you want to move it scale it you have the font the text for example if i want to change the text here i will go for chest day maybe as you can see here the the text have changed as you can see here you can change it everything you have the position and the scale in case you need it and for example if i want to move the creation or write something else here i will show you one thing if i write for example gym the text is going to the left so it's not covering the lines this is a, a new thing that we have implemented to the gym graphics v3 so all the overlays work the same so here it is we have three overlays so now let's go with the next one so now i will show you the social media for example i will choose uh, this one we can drop and drop to our timeline as you can see here you can make it smaller if you want and then you can move it over here from here or over over here so I will show you, if you want to change your image, just drop some, click the image or the video you want, apply to the clip and then there is, you can change the animation over here, as you can see you can move the image, you have the scales, you have the scale of the image, you have the position of the image right down here, as you can see you can make it smaller or bigger, but you also have the thickness of the lines if you want to make it bigger or smaller uh, the speed is the speed of the circle if you want to move it faster or slower depending on you you can have here the speed 
And you also have the same parameters for each callout. As you can see here, we have nine social media, so you can play with that. Every parameters and menu are the same, so you can play with that. So now I will show you, for example, let's go with the timers. It's a bit bigger, right? So we can make it smaller or bigger from there or here. You have the colors, let's put this one and change the colors. All right, so you can see we have changed the elements. I will make it bigger, so I will show you some, some details here. So as you can see here, we have the, the steps. If you want to change the steps, we need to go here and put your, your steps. I think 10,000 it's, but you also have the opacity for each element in case you want to see it. For example, let's go with the, the path, if you want to see the fire or not, and the food. And also if you want to have just the line, you can drag everything down and just let the, and just let the, the line. So here it is, you can change it. If you want, for example, to, to be kilometers, you can put here kilometers and that's it. So I will show you one last thing. So let's go for the titles. Let's choose the second one. And here it is, as you can see, we have a build in and build out. You can move it from here, but you also have the on-screen control in case you need it. You have the colors, each element, if you want to make it darker maybe, you have the text. And here, if you want to say, let, let's say that you work seven days and you have seven goals for each week, we can check the box and make it everything visible so we can, we have all the days checked. And one more thing, let's say that I only want three columns, three rows. You need to go to number of rows, select it for, from here and put three. So as you can see here, the, the row has changed. We have only three rows. You can change the text, maybe you can make it smaller or bigger and move it if you want. You have all the text, font, scale for each element. And right down here, we have the line opacity, if you want to see it or not. You have the fill opacity of the, of the box here, but you also have the corner if you want to see the opacity or not. For the background, we have the blur, if you, if you want to be blurred or unblurred, and you also have the tint, if you want to be invisible or visible. Guys, that's it. I hope this tutorial have helped you to understand better how it works the new CCG Graphics Pack version 3 for Final Cut Pro. If you have any question or doubts, do let us know in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and drop a like if you like it. And guys, don't forget to tag us in your in your content with the hashtag made with creation. And guys, see you soon. Bye bye.